Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of That New Toy Smell. I'm your host, Mitch Live, and I collect action figures. And today, we're having a look at Splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie by NECA Toys. So here we have Master Splinter from the very first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live action movie by NECA Toys. He comes in this classic NECA Ninja Turtles box, which stands 8 inches tall. All the boxes from this figure line look pretty much exactly alike, and they all feature uh, this artwork from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie right on the front. Uh, it's got the NECA Real Toys and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo on the top. You can see the clear plastic starts here at the top, and it wraps all the way around the front, uh, so you can see inside and have a look at this beautiful figure. The side of the box, again, features the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie logo, a couple of pictures of Splinter, we've got that Nickelodeon logo and the NECA logo. On the other side, we see a nice photo of this figure. On the back, it features a few more poses of this figure, as well as uh, pictures of the main turtles from this figure line. Of course, you see this NECA logo, uh, which is a unique NECA logo, which features a, a different color letter, corresponds to the different color masks of the Ninja Turtles. And right now, he's just trapped like a rat in a box, so uh, let's pop him out and uh, see what he's like. And here he is, out of his box. Uh, the wise Master Splinter. And first off, let me just say, as I lay him here on the table, it looks a little bit like I've got a dirty clothed dead rat lying on my table because he is actually the size of an average rat. He comes into the box with his tail pointed straight down, uh, preventing him from being able to stand. Obviously, there's going to be a wire uh, in this tail, and it's going to be a poseable tail. This is like this is like breaking the seal on the toy in a whole new way. But, ooh, uh, yes. So it stays. So he's gonna have a, a lot of uh, positioning available in the tail. That looks like a real rat's tail. His legs, they're a little cockeyed. He's definitely not gonna stand like that. I have to uh, kind of find where his feet wanna move. He has got some scrawny legs. But you do see some splinter leg in the film and uh, that is pretty actually accurate. So. What are you going to do? And his tail is definitely going to help him stand. So, let's see if he passes the first test. Does he stand? Effortlessly. I am Master Splinter. This figure is from a 7-inch toy line, and he stands exactly 5 inches tall. Which makes sense, because Splinter is definitely a lot shorter than the Turtles and most of the other characters. This is the first figure that I've opened uh, from this toy line that is that has a cloth, like a fabric, real cloth outfit. And, again, 100% looking accurate to the movie. Uh, and the wear and tear and, like, fray on it and dirt on it, that's, like, that's that's awesome. That is, like, really awesome. And I gotta be honest with you. I hate fabric clothing on toys. I, I mean, like, okay, maybe hate is a strong word, but I don't prefer it. Uh, especially with the NECA toy, NECA typically does a better job with the detail and articulation with rubbery, fake-looking clothes. And the Ninja Turtles look great, and their uh, bandanas look great because they're rubber or plastic. They're not fabric. NECA does have a lot of, like, 8-inch figure lines that have fabric clothing, and the fabric clothing just never looks as good. But that is just not true for this figure. This is the best fabric clothed figure by NECA Toys I've ever held. And I've held a few of them. The rest of them is, of course, hard plastic, including the wrapping on his feet. And uh, in terms of articulation, he is fully articulated. I'm not sure exactly how many points. I don't think it says, uh, but he's got foot or like toe articulation here. No ankles, but he's got knees and hips and uh, midsection, and shoulders, elbows, wrists, and neck movement. Fully posable. I mean, he almost looks like he's standing a little awkwardly, but like, he looks like he's exactly like the puppeteered costumey thing from the movie. I'm sure he was a puppet, right? He was an animatronic puppet. Maybe there was probably a couple versions of him, some animatronic and some, uh, 
actual puppets controlled by people? I'm not sure. But they even match the posture of this figure from the movie, it feels like. They, just, they did a great job with this figure. This might be one of my favorite pieces from the Ninja Turtles movie toy line so far. He comes with a slice of pizza. This slice of pizza comes with olives, what looks like some uh, maybe green peppers, and some sort of meat. I'm going to call them anchovies. He also comes with a pair of nunchucks. Not a pair, a singular... Is it a pair? Is it... I mean, is it, is it just one nunchuck? Is it a nunchuck? Are they nunchucks? Uh, I don't remember him holding nunchucks. It's been a really long time. I have to watch that movie again. But uh, typically I didn't, uh, I didn't think of nunchucks when I thought of Splinter. But these nunchucks nonetheless, uh, the wire that connects them is absolutely a piece of like twist tie, movable, posable wire which is an awesome detail, I absolutely love it. I'm sure that it means if you were to bend it back and forth too many times, you would weaken a spot and it would eventually want to break on you, so I'm not gonna play too much with it. And the final accessory, and my favorite accessory, is this container of ooze. This is the radioactive material, oh, it says right there on it, radioactive material. Oh, and it's even got a break in it, you can see the break in it right there. And this is the toxic stuff that leaked into the sewer and made the Ninja Turtles the mutated warriors that they are today. Oh, and it comes off, and it comes off, and you can see it broken. Uh, there really isn't anything to see inside. It's not, like, full of leaking ooze or anything, but the fact that that comes off is actually pretty cool. And there we have it. This is Splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie by NECA Toys. Brought to you by that new toy smell. He gets, uh, he gets, he gets ten sniffs. Thumbs up, way to go, way to go NECA toys. Uh, 10 sniffs in, in all categories. 10 sniffs is a, is a rating system that means absolutely nothing. And uh, it, it just means it just means that I really like them. As always, there will be links in the description below that you can follow to purchase your own Splinter by NECA toys. Make sure to check out some of our other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure reviews. Thanks so much for hanging out with us on the toy shelf and remember, you're never too old to play with toys.